I'm uh, playing around with the cabling at the front from the headlight. I've temporarily fitted the orange conduit to the cables and now we are at the connector. I need to get rid of the connector because there's no way of hiding it in any neat and meaningful fashion. Um, so I intend to pop the connectors out of the block and then push them together and use heat shrink to hold them together and to insulate them. Um, that can easily be cut off when we need to dismantle the bike for painting etc. Um, that should hopefully allow us to uh, embed them within the uh, conduit and run the conduit back down to meet the main, main loom. Other things I'm going to do is shorten up some of this cabling. We don't need 8 metres of blue and white so I'm going to solder those um, to the same sort of length that we've got with the green earth cable. So I've done the first two, um, heat shrunk them so that they can't come apart. And I'm just going to do the other two to there together. All of the connectors do not like being in the same time and space as each other. Um, owing to the fact that I've quite literally just taken them out of the connector, um, they are all going to bunch together. But I have a feeling this, as untidy as it is, will end up in this tube. And I'm kind of glad I've kept this because it's going to hide a multitude of sins. Um, so I think I won't do it this time around, but next time when we go to uh, fully assemble the bike properly, I'll cable tie that, just hold it all together as a bunch. Um, and then it's going to end up stuffed down that tube. I do think I'm going to have to shorten some of these cables though, otherwise they're going to end up flapping out the bottom. Cables shortened, soldered and tucked in. It's not perfect though because I can still see some down here, so that's something that's going to have to be worked on. But it's not the end of the world yet. Now it's time to take care of the horn cables. They only come up as far as here and we need to be up here. So what I'm going to start by doing is cutting the connectors off this. We'll reuse those. Um, and then I'm going to run cables from the horn down to join this. Um, and that should give us what we need to uh, connect the horn up. So we have some further wiring wrap with the horn cabling that just punches down into uh, this plastic conduit here. I am actually going to drop this down a bit further, there's plenty of spare so it can in theory just disappear further in. Okay so not bad for an afternoon, sort of fettling really. Um, nice indoor job. Um, the green doesn't come out very well on this, but um, it's a lot brighter than it appears on film. Um, it's just a series of waterproof LEDs um, on a LED strip, and that's connected directly to the lighting circuit. Um, it's a little bit uh, frivolous, but uh, I quite like the idea of it. The LED material is inexpensive, it's about £5 for a 5 metre roll of it, give or take a quid or two. It's just a series of strips of green LEDs, they run on 12 volts. Um, you cut it to length, um, I've only used probably about 40 centimetres, maybe not even that, 30 centimetres of the stuff. It's uh, a, a silicon rubber coated strip, so that should give it the waterproofness we need. Not that I expect it to get particularly wet and it has got effectively a hairdryer attached to it. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit of fun. Um, it's self-adhesive, so I just cleaned the inside of the case and ran it around in a semicircle. If I get a chance at a later day when I strip the whole thing apart, I'll, um, I'll show you how it looks. But it's dead simple. And just wired into the lighting circuit. So when the lights are on, it's on. I do have the option to disconnect it um, with bullet connectors if uh, I don't think it's particularly legal. But at least it's not red or uh, blue or yellow, which would have been even worse. So we'll see how we get on.